Well, we are here today again with Jenny from the Michigan Propane Gas Association to get some tips on safe use of propane. And we are standing in front of a pretty remote deer camp cabin, uh, kind of set out in the middle of nowhere, too far away to get natural gas to it. So Jenny, this is a propane cabin. What are the advantages of having a cabin that's hooked up to propane? Well, one of the advantages is that with propane, you can have all of the luxuries of home with mm. cooking, heating, lighting, and so forth. Uh, but the good thing about propane is that it's safe, it's efficient, and it's portable. So you can always bring, say, a 20 pound barbecue tank, and you can hook it up to propane lighting. Okay. Um, now the lighting also, it gives off light, but it also gives off heat. Oh, that's good, yeah, okay. So each propane light gives off about 2200 BTUs of heat. If you have four of those, you have 8800s of BTUs of heat. Hmm. Now, if you hook that up to the tank, it can run one gallon for about 10 hours. Okay. So you're looking at efficiency and portability. Nice, and and I, I guess I'm familiar with the gas lights. I've been in a lot of cabins that have those, but I guess I didn't realize all the different appliances that, that are run on propane. What are just some of the ones that maybe folks aren't aware of? Well, just to name a few, a uh, water heater, uh, generators, you got your refrigerator, you know, cooking, stove, okay. and so forth. So uh, all of the luxuries of home. Okay, so you can basically have a cabin just like your home, you know, with all the different things you have there. But when it comes to shutting down the cabin, opening up the cabin, what are some things to think about, you know, as you as you come in uh, to, to kind of do that, some of that? Well, coming and going, you really need to just establish a protocol of what you do each time. Mm. Uh, rule of thumb, always check the appliances first. So when you're coming in, you want to check that all the appliances have been properly shut off from whoever was there before you. Nothing was left on. A light switch wasn't left on. Okay. Then you want to go outside and turn on your fuel source. Mm. Um, same thing with leaving. You want to check all of your appliances first, make sure everything's turned off, and then go out and turn off the fuel source. Great. Okay. So the so advantages would be portability. You can get off the road. You can have all the conveniences of home. And then to have just some good general protocols for setting up the cabin and closing down the cabin, right? Absolutely. Okay. I think we got it. Well, thanks for your time today. All